a warm welcome to one and all. It's Saturday now, just coming up to 10 a.m. in the morning on this ninth day of December. I'm able to bring you to Water's Edge. There's the North Pier and our friendly Irish Sea today. Well, thanks to one and all who have watched all my videos that I have uploaded to YouTube earlier this week. Thank you very much and all the businesses that helped me make them. Now, I really must get on with this one now. So with a view of this very fast flowing little stream here of the Irish Sea, this is your week's video coming up. Thanking one and all for everything. I'll see you at the end. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. A very good morning to everyone. It is Wednesday now and we are at the start of Topping Street. Now we're well now on the way to Christmas itself. Just, just two or three weeks left now and Christmas will be here. Now, I would like very much to see if I can help one and all. Now, should you need any decorations for Christmas, then you need look no further than this shop on the corner, or rather opposite the start of Topping Street. There's Kelly's shop there, and there's Cassandra's and the Renegade shop. And turning back here, Yes, I'm going to take you inside because there's some spectacular models here, some of them working. So I'm going to take you inside to show you what is on offer here. All different prices as well. Down here, you see, there's this here for five pounds. Merry Christmas. There's all the Santas there. Merry Christmas. Beautiful array of imitation plants here. And there's your reindeer. Now, may I please show you this? Now, this is something special. It's the North Pole sign. There we are. You get all of this here. Welcome to the North Pole. Santa's workshop and the elf village. I think that's very nice. Now I'm moving around here because there's this train here, this Christmas train, and you can see there's a figure there revolving on the train itself. And there's another train here. There's so much here and it's all very, very good quality. So that's our visit today to this shop on the corner of Topping Street. If you need, oh look, there's some wreaths there, look. There's some wreaths there. If you need anything for Christmas, you don't have to look any further than this shop. I hope you've enjoyed this quick visit. Moving on down Topping Street, across there is the cask and tap. We are known here, a very nice, very, very nice, interesting bar. Next door, this is what I'm going to show you. Now, next door used to be an estate agent, and this shop now is available to let. There we are. I'm just going to move a couple of paces to my left, and you will see the telephone number there for you to call if you're interested. Nicely located right next to the cask and tap and only a matter of a few mm -hmm. paces and that takes us right down to Church Street itself. Moving a little further along Topping Street across the road you will see the newly painted fascia boards of Mama's Restaurant. This is coming along now. It's very, very close to opening. I think 10 or 11 days, we'll see this lovely Mama's restaurant reopening. So just going to show you 
the fascia board that has been painted and I'm told that the actual fascia signs, the letterings, will be arriving in the very near future. Mama's restaurant due to open maybe 10 or 11 days time. A very good morning to everyone. It is now Thursday and it is time for our once a week visit to this very impressive build of the Works and Pensions Office. In front, the other side of that harass fencing, we can see this ground now all being levelled off. And taking a couple of paces back, it gives me great pleasure to show this here. The rapid rise of these fascia panels. Look what's happened here this week. An enormous area of these panels placed. And to my right, there's that blue mobile crane that does all the lifting. So not far short, not far short now of rapidly coming to halfway, completely panelled up here on this part of the facade of the building. Just raising the camera so as you get a full on view. There we are. And if one wanted to, it would be easily possible to work out how many panels are required to complete this facade because they are all the same size. I'm going around the other side now. Moving a couple of paces to my left, I'm hoping that from this view here you can pick out on these one, two, three, four, five, on these five levels on this curve here, can you see all the brass fittings that have been placed? Well, they're going to hold all these panels that will be coming. I do hope you can picture them out here. And moving the camera to my left, you will see the hoist at the top and also please notice all the panelling that has been placed in this area. Just moving further along and we are at gate one and from here I offer you these further views of this build of the works and pensions office. Lots and lots going on here obviously. And there's one of the hoists that has just reached the top. And moving closer to the gates, we can see that they've had a further arrival of concrete today. There's the mixer there. So, with a final view of this hoist, that is now moving up here. This will complete our video today, our visit today to this very impressive field of the works and pensions of it. A warm welcome to one and all on this Friday afternoon. There's Mark Kelly's across the road. So that must mean now that yes, we're going to pay our once a week visit to the field of the Holiday Inn and all the levelling up progress outside. This is new for you to see, the turnstiles that all the contractors have to pass through now to work in this area here outside. So we're just walking past now all this harass fencing and I, I can stop here and show you 
the wonderful progress made from our last visit. Our last visit was on the Friday of last week, I believe, and as you can see with this view here, marvellous levelling up, pro leveling up process has continued here. I can walk you along. Of course I can. All the skips there. And a look at the holiday in itself. With the two lots of lettering and their motive. And here, we're going to see two contractors at work here. Leveling, leveling this ground ready for its top coats of tarmac. Very good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, my friend. Very Hi. good afternoon to you. Okay thank you, thank you. You're doing a great job here. Thank you. Thank you. It's a happy building site, this one. That's important. And here look, all this nicely being levelled off now. And we can move on around here. And right up here, the same sort of views. This is what we see last week, I believe, this laying of tarmac here. This side of the Hiraz fencing. these contractors here have been ever so helpful and friendly towards this channel and I can take you right up here now the building on my right or rather in front of me that is the powerhouse as it is known Now we can see these contractors here on this scissor lift and they're placing some specially made tiles here. Oh, that's coming along really well. A good afternoon to you, good afternoon to you. Thank you very much. Good afternoon everyone, good afternoon. You're doing a great job, you really, really are. It looks lovely, it looks lovely. Well, yes, I'll come back next week when it's all finished. Maybe week after. Week after, oh silly me, silly me. Let's not rush it now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Just moving up, up here now. And that's the Sainsbury store there in the background. I'm going to close the camera down now until we reach the area of the underpass. And we have made it now to the entrance or exit of the underpass, which leads straight to Blackpool North Railway Station now. I've just got to past these newly placed all the barriers here yes they, they've been placed all along all the barriers and I can show you this now and what I'd like you to, to notice is the laying 
of that nice stone effect. All the stone pebbles there over the over these steps now. And we can look through now the whole of the underpass and again just going to see if I can give you a clearer view of those steps now because they have been enhanced with this covering. Looks well, looks very well. I'm going to walk around these Hiraz fencing here. And, oh yes, from here, I'm almost certain that you will be able to pick out now the complete flight of steps that have received the final top coat. Looks well, it looks very well. And I can show you this now. The two sides of the underpass, this has received this kind of fascia here. And you see some electric cables hanging out there. So we must all wait to see what is going to be placed here. But yes, very impressive indeed. Just going to show you Blackpool North Railway Station, just to show you where we are with this build here and this underpass. So looking down now, again, at these flight of steps, this is where our visit today will close. Our visit to the build of the Holiday Inn and everything that is going on outside. With this view, looking over to the chalets and the rides on this Saturday afternoon on the 9th, just coming up to 4 p.m. This is where I would like to thank one and all who has viewed this video and for everything that has been done for this channel. And I will see one and all next time. Oh, thank you again for watching my previous videos this week. Bye bye. I'll see you next time. Bye bye now. Bye bye.